Whoa. All right, Sanford. Come on, Trump. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wow. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. I said, praise the Lord. Well, this is a great honor to stand before the people of the United States one more time to bring the prayer for my president. That's right. The greatest president since Abraham Lincoln. Donald John Trump. Tonight, this evening, ladies and gentlemen, we are here so that America and the world will know that no bug, no virus, no lies going to keep my president down. Come on. No lies are going to keep my president down. I thank God tonight that Donald J. Trump has truly been anointed and appointed for such a time as this. The American revival, the renaissance, the rise of the United States of America begins tonight in Sanford, Florida. The world will be on notice that we, the people of the state of Florida, are here to pray. The United States of America was a nation formed and bathed in prayer. Amen, somebody. John Quincy Adams said that our country and our constitution was written only for a moral and religious people. It is totally inadequate without any other. And no one in this crowd is deplorable. No one in this crowd is irredeemable. Come on, somebody. No one is irredeemable. Our Lord Jesus Christ came. He bled and he died for all. And I thank God that Donald Trump has been raised again and been given an extension of life like the prophet Hezekiah was given 15 more years. I said 15 more years. That'll drive the media nuts. Where are they? You look at this guy right here and I'm saying 15 more years. That's his life being extended. Those of you that are Bible students understand what I'm talking about. I pray to God that they'll film me and put me on TV. Because I was the guy that gave the invocational prayer when Melania read the Lord's Prayer. But they cut my face off because I didn't fit the narrative. But God knows that I fit the narrative. I am an American, a proud American. Glory be to God. And I'm here to let you know that I'm going to be the next state representative for the great state of Florida for House District 27. You're here today. You can simply go to votebarnaby.com. VoteBarnaby.com. You got to vote for Barnaby to be the next state representative. And I'm voting for Donald J. Trump and Mike Pence as the next president and vice president of these United States. All right, everybody, here we go, here we go. Let me tell you right now, there was three people at Calvary's Hill. There was one in the middle. He died for the whole world. But there was one guy that recognized that he wasn't perfect. He recognized that he needed help. And he turned to Jesus and he said, remember me when you go into your kingdom. And the Lord, while he was dying, turned to that thief on the cross and said, this day you will be with me in paradise. 
So I'm here to declare right now, ladies and gentlemen of the great state of Florida, like that thief on the cross, I want you to lift your hands right now and simply say, Lord, remember me. All right, bow your heads. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we offer this prayer to you, Lord, on behalf of our president, Donald J. Trump, a man that you called for such a time as this, a man that had the courage to move the United States Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Come on, somebody. A man that recognized that this nation is one nation, not three nations, one nation, united, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. A man that recognized through his policies that we can make America great again, who understands that the God of heaven is no respecter of persons, but that if we acknowledge him, he will bless this land. So Father, we thank you tonight that you've healed our land. You've removed the plague of Corona in the name of Jesus. I call it done in the name of Jesus. Cause tonight you will see evidence of a strong man in Donald J. Trump, a man that's recovered. So right now I'm asking you all to cast out all fears and all doubt. Remove fear from this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead your blood for this rally to be a success that the news media and the world will recognize that the United States of America has its best days ahead of us. And now we thank you in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. God bless you all.